Hello everyone, today we are going to learn about one of the ways we study important biological molecules. We have many different methods to test different functions of the cell and its components. One of the ways we study how two proteins interact with each other is by using a method called the pull-down assay. It is important to study the interactions of proteins as they give us a clue as to the function and biological importance of that protein. Unlike many other methods that test how proteins interact inside a living organism or cell, known as in vivo, the pull-down assay is an in vitro technique, which means that the method is performed in a test tube. This method is a form of affinity purification, which are methods used to purify proteins from a biological sample, except that a bait protein is used instead of an antibody. The pull-down assay uses two or more proteins, the bait protein and one or more prey proteins. The bait protein is often your protein of interest linked with an affinity tag, while the prey proteins are the proteins you are testing for direct or indirect interactions with your protein. After identifying which protein you want to study, you then tag the gene of interest so that the protein will interact with a ligand-bound resin. Some examples of tag ligand pairs are GST tagged bait bound to a glutathione resin or a His tagged bait bound to a nickel resin. A cell lysate, the contents of a destroyed cell containing the tagged proteins, can then be passed through the column. The tag on the bait protein will bind to a ligand and immobilize the protein in the column. The column can then be washed of any unbound proteins. Another cell lysate containing the prey proteins is co-incubated with the resin to allow for binding. Once sufficient time has been allowed for any possible protein binding, any proteins not bound to the resin beads are again washed off. If you have any bound proteins, what's left on the beads are prey proteins bound to your bait protein. After an elution buffer is used to disrupt the binding of the proteins to each other into the resin beads, the identity of the prey protein can be determined by looking at the mass to charge ratios using mass spectrometry or by using a western blot. The pull-down assay is a valuable tool for finding interactions between proteins. Some example interactions that can be determined using the assay are protein binding to synthetic histone tails, protein recruitment, and protein subunit interactions. This method is often used to confirm possible protein interactions discovered by other methods such as yeast to hybrid. It can also be used as a discovery tool to find previously unknown interactions between proteins by incubating the Bates protein with a lysate containing potential prey proteins.